When we share with other people, we can share on the following blogs. Whenever you go into Purple Mash, you can share by going here. It says sharing, and there's the world, because the World Wide Web is a place where we share. So shared blogs, coding group. That's for the group that meets on a Tuesday and Wednesday at our school. Brian Evans Stories. Look at the board. That's where you can write your own stories. Brian Evans Foundation Phase. That's for the little ones. And Brian Evans Art, where you can display art. Brian Evans Games, where you can post some of your games. Films. And Brian Evans General Blog. Now, if you want to post art, let's have a look if there's any art already up. If you look over here, it says Brian Evan Art, and we can see Ayan's posted a picture. It'll go down. There's a whole lot of pictures that already are up. Okay, if you look and you just click on the picture, here you can see Rebecca Phillips. I think she's a grade four. You can leave a comment, like here I'm going to write, there's my avatar. I really like the running paint effect in purple mash i love that running running paint the idea do you guys know that when you use this you can even add more water in the paint and it runs differently which you probably know okay so i've left my comment now and she can now read my comment now when you finish doing your art i won't do a whole picture because i've already done quite a lot already then i'll show you how to post that on the blog and then I'll show you how to do it with your mum and dad can see your pictures as well. So if I go to work, look here, he has a sample picture, pretty bad picture. I know that a guy like Michael uh, probably would have a big, say it's not pretty good because he did that amazing picture last year or the year before. Open, I open the artwork, I could improve it a little bit. And don't forget, when you using the particular tool that you're using you can always go to this and you click on that and you can choose a different part of the artwork so i go yes and you can see now i've got lines some of you already know this and you've got all these lines if you want to choose a different one you can go there on that and you can go pointism i think it was delacroix was the famous pointist artist he loved doing like little dots and you can see that on TV and computer screens that you've got pixels. Every one of these pictures that you see is made of millions of little pixels. So look, I'm coloring in with little dots. And then if I feel like okay, I want to go to this one, this one's really interesting. You get some really good effects with that one. Yes. And you can go make it a bit bigger. Okay. And then if you want to post your artwork, you go here. Share file. It'll ask you for a name for your file. I'm going to call it um, example because it's example work. Save. And once it's saved, it'll ask you, where do you want to post it? I'm going to go to the blogs. This is the blog icon. And then you'll see it says artwork. Don't put it on the gaming site because the, the, the artwork site is where you post art. And then you'll be asked for the name over here of your work. I'll just say example. And then this is an example work on done with 5D. Uh, you guys are 5D. Sorry, 5A. Okay, and then I'll just say save. And now it's on the blog. But I'm going to delete this piece of artwork because it's not really that good. Um, it's just an example for you guys to use so if you want to see the artwork you go to sharing shared blogs artwork and you'll see mine should be at the top because it's the latest work to be published so example here's my work and i'm still going to show you how to post it for mom and dad all right so then you click on here and you can comment and say mr bradley i liked your work or you can say i didn't like your work or you could ask what were the techniques and you can speak about the artwork. Now, if you want to post to mom and dad, this is how you do it. Right, on shared blogs, you, well, firstly, you, you get your artwork. Look over here. I open this artwork. 
I go to shared and you'll see over here it says post to a display board or share using a link or a QR code or HTML embed. Now the easiest way is to do this. If you take that, you take that embed, it's called embed. You see over here it says embed. If you copy that little bit of code, it means you can put it into a website. So if I go to Google Sites Watch, in two minutes I'm going to produce an, a, a piece of artwork that anyone on the internet can see. Just as an example for you guys. I'm going to go to New. And then I'm going to make... Just waiting for my... I'm in Google Drive. If you have a Google account, then you can use Google Drive. And it gives you a, what's called Google Sites, which is an easy way of making a website. So you go New. And you'll see it says Google Slides, which is like PowerPoint. And you look for Google Sites. Click on it. And you'll see a template comes up that you can use to make your website. And I'll just call it Grade 5A Example. And then you guys can see Grade 5A Example. Anyone can do this. Example that you get a Google account. Google is amazing. It's really a wonderful. They give you so much. All right. Now I'm going to bring in over here the embed. Look over there. It says embed. See that purple mesh embed code. Here it is. Go here. Embed code. I don't think I copied it. I highlight, copy, the embed code. Guys, no talking. Copy and watch. You bring it in over there. Embed code. And if you guys are stuck and can't remember how to do this, just come and ask me again. Look over here. There it is. Save. And the whole world can now see your artwork. And I can make it a bit bigger. It's a website on the internet that anyone can see. So there's my picture. If you find it's too small, you can go here. This is what it'll look like when it's published. Okay, let's go to publish. I'm going to unpublish it just now because I don't really want anyone to see it. It's just an example for you guys. Preview. This is what the website will look like on the internet. There's my artwork. If you find this is too small, you want it bigger, you go here. You click on there, and you can see it gives the sizes. Look there, 300. I can make that 1,000. Guys, I don't ap appreciate you talking. Guys, I'm busy teaching you. Right, go next. Save. Now look, it's going to get bigger. Maybe it's too big, but if I show you now and I go preview, this is what the website looks like. And then your artwork has been displayed on a website. I'm going to delete this website because it's just an example to show you guys. If you make it for a tablet, look, this is if your mom or dad want to see it on a tablet. That's what it'll look like on a cell phone. Then you've got to change everything to make it smaller. And the tablet, that's what it's going to look like on a tablet. That's the reason why you got that. And this is going to show you on a normal computer. So you guys can make it, tailor make it for whoever's going to see it for a tablet, computer, cell phone. Boys and girls, remember that you use that embed code. If you're stuck and don't know how to do this, watch my YouTube video. This is going to be on YouTube. And then you guys can put your stuff on for the whole world to see. You can make your own website. Okay. I hope that. Uh, you guys appreciated the lesson. And thank you for all the learners who were quiet and that were involved in listening. I truly appreciate the fact that you guys are marvelous. Every time I come have a lesson, I don't normally have problems at all. And I really appreciate the fact that you're so disciplined. I've taught in many schools where you can't even talk and the children are just going crazy. You guys are the best. And I think that it, it's going to be, that's why you're so smart. And I'd like you to continue doing that because that's one of the ways to be smart.